Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting dream to episode 13 of Tokyo Mimi News. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It feels like it's been forever since we last watched this show. Mm -hmm. Oh! <gasps> ah! We're starting on that! I mean, and it makes the most sense to start on that because we are getting close to that. <laughs> oh, dang. Like, he's going to definitely awake at the end of the 12 episodes of this. We all know it. He's coming. It's obvious because the fact is with what they just did for the opening. Besides, I don't think there's no, there's no way in heck that they would have him wake up in today's episode. It's the freaking premiere episode, so at least by episode 24, they have to have him wake up, and then the last 12 episodes could be, like, literally anything and such. It, well, <laughs> mm. there is something else I want to say, but I want to kind of keep, well, it, it's how I felt, like, <laughs> my baby. <laughs> so perfect um it, it's still partially on how i felt with this version i mean and, uh, and of course still i think a lot of people feel that same way as well but um i'm gonna leave that in the back of my mind but it's still going to be there because it happens it's gonna show up and we know it's going to happen and there's nothing that we can oh he's in the oh <laughs> there's nothing we can do to stop it that's all this is what they decided to do when they animated this so mm.
Well, I, I mean, they confessed and... <laughs> well, it was kind of really at the same time. Of course. Goodbye, that's so cute. <laughs> the walking homes together. Oh, uh, I'm dying. Are we going to see your parents today, too? Seeing your dad today, too. <laughs> Yeah, that's all you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why even in the imagination? He's still ain't got clothes on. <laughs> Goodbye, they're so cute. <laughs> Sir. Once again, he has such a problem. <laughs> mm. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, she should have the right to have a day off. So it's a date. <laughs> Ah! Help me, please. I'm dying. Oh my god, it's so cute. Adam, oh my god. Y'all remember the one episode of OG Mew Mew where, like, Aoyama had the kendo club, um, tournament and such, and she literally did, like, everything in her power to save it? I thought we were doing that today, but no? Okay. There's always one kid! He acted more yandere by the day. Mm -hmm. Like the sound of this. What in the Beauty and the Beast? No, what, no. what in the Little Mermaid? It's pretty.
Oh my god. <laughs> no. See, my thing is, is he gonna, is he appearing today too? There's so many things that they could do today. I mean, it would be smart to have him appear because yes, he's in the opening, but something tells me like in the next couple of weeks he's showing up and I'm not mad at it, but I was expecting him in the first episode of like the second half of the show. Really? I mean, Kishi, you sound more like a spoiled brat than a regular spoiled brat. Please. Let it happen today. Let it happen today. Please let it happen. voice <laughs> oh. I'm getting feels to the one episode of my whole sky girl <laughs> uh. Oh, not the teeth. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shut up, watch. Okay, I was expecting, but oh my, like, oh, everything. Honestly, because, like, now we're on volume. I should look real quick. We're, we're at least on, like, volume four, maybe. Volume, between volume four and volume five, because remember, like, Mint got her Mew Aqua between volume three. So, yeah, we're, we're between volumes three, four, and five. And such and lettuce was the last essential one who got hers so yeah between volumes three four and five even though we have not gotten to the big big situation of five because that's more than five and such but i mean for a first returning episode it was not that bad it was slow in some moments but still it was good i'm happy that finally he appears but, I mean, it was, like I said, it was very obvious that he was going to because he's in the opening. But something kind of also, like, as much as I wanted it to happen, I kept thinking, like, oh, he's not going to pop up until, like, next freaking week. And they said, no, he's popping up in this episode. Oh, I just need to know. is That's the same say, right? That, ha that has to be our, our dear, lovely, precious boy, Megamine. Because I'm going to look that ish up. Because th there is no way that they are like, oh, we're going to have somebody else. Seriously, I cannot imagine them being like, yeah, we're going to have somebody else. Because, bruh, no. No. You know, no, screw it. I'm checking it out. I have to. <laughs> I, I need to know. At least before I'm done with this video. So, no, 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 no. Um... Let's see. No. Crap. Oh my. Okay, that doesn't give me my answer. So let me try back on. Oh my god, this is getting... <laughs> Wait. Um, seasonal. Seasonal. Go to...
No, there it is. Okay. Let's see real quick. Because it has to be him. There's no way in heck they're like, oh, we're going to have two different like saves for him. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh my god. Seriously, they're they're doing it. They're freaking doing it. They're they're not even telling me who he's voiced by. I gotta wait. How, how long do I have to wait to find out who he's voiced by? It has to be the same person. It, it makes the most sense because of course that literally kind of sounds like Mega Man to me. But we gotta fucking wait. <laughs> <laughs> I like to joke. But the date was cute up until, you know, yes, Kish coming in and such. I kind of got also feels to, it's one of my other favorite episodes of OG. I think it's it's literally almost closer to the end of the series. So, of course, Ichigo had a date with Aoyama. And Kish was, like, very fed up. This had to be at least between episodes 30 to episodes 40 before the show ended. Um, And he was like, I'm here to pick you up. Like, basically, he was all ready to take her and be like, this is it. You're coming with me. You can't say no or take no for an answer. I'm not taking no for an answer. And it's a really emotional, like, episode. Not only for Kish as a nutshell. Like, any any of the moments, like, where they focus on the backstory of them, it's very emotional. But at that point in time... When it's just her and, and Kish and they're talking, even though he's very, very aggressive in the moment, like, she starts to cry. And, and he is over here, like, telling her how much he loves her, but still at the same time, she's over here like, I am not yours. Like, this is who I belong to. This is who I want to be with. Like, no matter what you tell me and whatever you say, I'm not going with you. It, it, so, like, if you have not seen the episode, if I could find the name or, like, the episode number of what it is, I literally will put that down. But, oh, my God, I don't freaking remember. I would literally have to, like, go into archives just to find the episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 13 of Tokyo Minu New. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every time I enjoy the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for episode 14. Bye, guys.